942 is the time right now. Brittany, I know you're listening to that. It's always hard to hear a, a difficult story like that when it comes to animals who are just neglected and abandoned. I know, I just hate to hear stories like that. But on a lighter note, we're live here at the Celebration of Fine Art. And that's located right off of the 101 in Scottsdale. And take a look at how beautiful this artwork is. Joining us right now is Vala Ola. And you're originally from Iceland. How'd you make it all the way down here? Yes, I, I went uh, for a vacation to Santa Fe, New Mexico, and fell in love with all the art. Mm -hmm. And uh, then I've been here since 2002, and uh, I sold my first sculpture here at this show. Wow. And uh, my inventory has been growing since. It's uh, been a thrill. I'm sure you love our weather coming from Iceland. Oh, I so appreciate the sun. <laughs> yeah. All right, well, let's go over some of your artwork. It's really fantastic. You paint and you also sculpt. Yes, with paintings you work with colors mm -hmm. and uh, in sculpting it's all about the form, working with light and shadow. The sculptures have to work oh. from every angle. Yeah. Uh, great work here, especially I just looked, I'm like, how can people paint like this and it looks so real? How, I mean, how long does something like this uh, take you? It can take a month <laughs> to do a painting like this. I do many layers. I love working with skin tones. Yeah. They're, uh, they're a, a really fun good. challenge. Wow, it's really impressive. And that's the cool thing about coming out here for the celebration of uh, fine art is that you get to talk to all the artists. So they'll be sitting in different chairs like this. And so this is a piece that you'll be working on probably if uh, folks come out. It's open until uh, March 27th from 10 to 6, mostly every day. And so when people come up, to you, you're actively working on your next uh, masterpiece. And tell us about this one. Yes, I create them right here. This is about uh, a romantic piece. Uh, they're falling in love. So uh, compositionally, he's off the ground, completely falling for his girl Aww. here. So it has a lot of movement, uh, passion. And uh, so I keep turning it as I work it, make sure that every angle looks beautiful, and then yeah. we'll cast it in bronze. Well, you have to think of everything, you know, even the toes pointed and the expression of the hands. How do you, how do, you do that? Uh, I gotta know my anatomy. Okay, that's <laughs> that's uh, where, how they come alive. Uh, sculpting the anatomy, uh, focusing in on the muscles right. and the movement there. And sometimes I'll even uh, uh, have people walk through the show and I'll see a face I love and I ask them to, if they have a moment to sit for me. Wow, <laughs> so, hey, yeah. well maybe if we, uh, when this is finished, might look a little something like this, right? <laughs> it's possible. All right, anyways, let's go ahead and get a look at your weather. We are going to see temperatures today warming at uh, warming up. high pressure moving in. So back out here live, celebration of fine art. Come on out, this is where art lovers and artists meet because you can uh, mix and mingle and ask them what they're doing, what inspires them, how they came up with their particular style. And so this is just a really unique opportunity for that and this will be available here until March 27th. You'll see all the white tents off of the 101 and the Scottsdale Exit you just head a little bit south on Mayo Boulevard and you will find it. I just uploaded a trivia question, so hopefully you've been watching, and if you answer it correctly, you'll win a family four pack. Other than that, you can say you're a three TV viewer, and then you'll get a two for one deal. Back to you guys. Wonderful. That's actually really cool to watch her work on that Isn't sculpture. It cool it's to watch very cool. Work? I know. And so there's uh, going to be 97 artists here, all working on their pieces, and so you'll learn about you know what inspires them and why they uh, chose to do this particular piece. Very cool. Thank you very much, Brittany.